that Greene County is announcing a stay-at-home order for the next 30 days with exemptions for essential businesses. County and city leaders take a more aggressive approach to stop the spread of COVID-19. Starting at midnight on Thursday, Springfield and Greene County will be under a stay-at-home order for the next month. We have all the new details with what you need to know. That's coming up shortly here on our News at 10. But first tonight, COVID-19 has now taken three lives in Greene County. Two people died today. They were connected to a group of senior citizens infected at a local assisted care facility. Color 10's Madison Heaver up first tonight. She's been covering this all evening. What have you learned? What can you tell us, Madison? Yeah, David, what we can tell you is that these two deaths were women who were living in the morning side of Springfield East. One woman was in her 70s and the other in her 90s. All three deaths were women and were all living at this facility. There are now 18 confirmed cases in Greene County. We can also give you more information on potential exposure to the virus. The 18th case ate dinner at Black Sheep Burger downtown and visited the Blue Room Comedy Club on Sunday, March 15th. The next day on March 16th, the 18th case ate at Caesars Old Mexico for lunch, then shopped at the Walmart neighborhood market on Sunshine around 2 p.m. And on Tuesday, March 17th, the case shopped at Walmart neighborhood market on Glenstone around 10 a.m. Now this case traveled domestically to an impacted area. Here's what Health Director Clay Goddard said today about the potential exposure. Please remember that COVID-19 is spread through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It spreads between people who are in close contact with one another, typically within six feet. People are thought to be most contagious when they are most symptomatic. Some spread is possible before people show symptoms, but it is not th thought that that is the main way the virus is transmitted. Goddard says if you believe you were exposed to monitor your symptoms and if they develop to contact, contact your health care provider, he says if you don't show symptoms right now, you will not be a candidate for testing. Madison Heaver tonight. Thanks.